Hey everyone, John Mendes here with an important message for you. Be sure to clip your toenails, because the last thing you need during this whole quarantine session is an ingrown toenail. That is all. Thank you. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Monday Night Quill Podcast Show. I'm your host, John Mendes, bringing you guys tonight's May 11th. 2020 episode number five or six i can't even remember i honestly i think after mid-march falling out of this podcast um i think for a brief moment you're gonna hear the trash people coming it is friday doing this recording putting this out on the 11th of may um it is around 7 37 in the morning and i wake it up at 6 30 you know today being uh, i don't know the sun is shining um i'm actually just in, in my underwear I don't know how uh, how more detailed I could be, but I got the motivation to actually put on this episode with uh, talking about my success with, uh, with TikTok. Like, I accidentally stumbled upon something great with a miniseries. And now, before I get more into detail with this miniseries, I'd like to make a simple shout out to, oh, you know who you are. Uh, for the longest time, I was very stubborn on actually getting the uh, TikTok app only because I really found it to be unnecessary and like... I felt like I was too old to already make those kind of videos anymore because I, I was really big uh, on Vine. Not big as in like I blew up and was famous or anything like that, but like I actually was uh, very into the, the whole creativeness of actually trying to mesh um, a lot of ideas or, or brainstorming a, a video concept between 15 to 30 seconds into a little small little clip. Um, but this person here, she actually uh, saw me um, being this creative genius. I don't want to say creative genius, but like uh, doing something with this platform. And I really like to thank her for for actually uh, putting me on this uh, platform only because I really did not want to get this app. And uh, yeah, I caved in. I was like, you know what? New Year's. I think, yeah, it was uh, January 1st of this year, January 1st, where I decided, you know what? Fuck it. Let me go ahead and upload or download this app. And then like, we'll see where we go from there. And yeah, little by little, I got a taste of of what this app is and like it's not only just a, a, a hybrid of of what vine used to be but it's more i'd say you get life lessons you get storytelling from people that uh have not seen their significant person for like 20 years or something or like uh do it yourself cook meals make it so much easier like with this app i actually ended up making more meals uh how to make my own buffalo wow wings wings at home uh what else did I? Oh, this odd one where it's like you grab a a a, a wiener. <laughs> you grab a, a hot dog wiener. You splice it down the middle, throw in whatever kind of cheese that you like, and wrap it around in three pieces of bacon. And then you toss that into the into your pan, and yeah, it's pretty delicious. So some random things like that. It's 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 pretty pretty interesting. But I really didn't think nothing of this miniseries, like. It was more of a one-off episode. Uh, currently, right now, it is a five-part episode. I uploaded this latest episode yesterday on the 7th of May. And we are in the 8th? Yes, at the time of this recording, we are in the 8th of May. And I'll be having this out pretty, pretty soon for you guys. Or it already be out by the time of this recording. Anywho, it was just going to be like a one-off thing. About this man who was, you know, waking up to get a late night, late midnight snack. And as he's climbing down the stairs, and as soon as he makes it down the stairs, um, someone turns off the lights. And he might be thinking, you know what, eh, it's just something with electrical wiring. Who knows? I might be going crazy. It is the middle of the night, you know. And so then after coming down the stairs and checking on the lights, lights turn back on, you know, with the flip of the switch. And proceeds to go into the basement. Or basement. Garage. To, you know, grab whatever midnight snack that he so so desires. And in between the staircase and the garage is the laundry room. So he proceeds to pass through the laundry room. He's about to open the garage door when the lights there in the laundry room turn off by themselves. So he starts tripping out. And so the next episode is the one that's famous, actually, that blew up out of nowhere, out of the blue. It's sitting right now at 115,000 views, which is nuts. Uh, the last time I ever ended up pulling such numbers of views was on YouTube. 
there's a video of me and my mother who are uh, having, I was actually having her teach me so I could put this on, on YouTube on how to make chicharrones, which is uh, fried pork rinds. And yeah, it, was, it got pretty famous. It got like 2,000 and something views and uh, it ultimately lost the audio portion of the video only because the licensing of Vampire Weekend's A-Punk. I think it's called A-Punk, yeah. A-Punk's A-Punk by Vampire Weekend. I ended up putting that in the background as low as I could. This is back then when copyright restrictions on music and stuff like uh, copyright infringement was not such a, a big thing. But coming back to this <laughs> uh, episode two um, of this video, it was just a simple conversation between the, the man uh, having this conversation with his, with his woman, which is his wife, or talking about the situation that happened with the lights. And the wife, his wife is actually reassuring him that it might all just be in his head because during this time, the scenario of this series is like happening simultaneously with this whole COVID-19 thing where people are being quarantined and, you know, people are on for on furlough and losing their jobs. And so this man is unemployed at the moment, but he also suffers from anxiety and a bunch of other things going on in his head. So the wife is actually reassuring him that, you know what, it might, does it might just be that you're not taking your medications properly or at all. Or that this quarantine thing has finally gotten to his head. Then we go on to episode three. And with episode three, we open up with the husband taking his medications. You see him, the pill bottles that like surround the, the bathroom sink. Um, he goes to put his medication capsules away in the medicine cabinet. And brings on a note left by the wife. Since the wife is a nurse at a hospital. She's seeing um, all these patients that are currently under this COVID-19 situation, she's seen some things. And, you know, she's she's a big she's big on uh, on prayers and believing in, in uh, a higher power. So she leaves him a note saying that she's going to be running off late. She's going to be ended up doing like Bible study or something. And to remind him to take his medication. So he does. And later that night, something paranormal happens again. And again, the lights in the next room are turned on on their own. The fan on the ceiling turns on by itself. And so he proceeds to turn all of them off and walks out of the room. He hears a loud thud. Goes to open the door. The lights are back on. The fan is back on. But not only that, there is a chair that was filmed in the beginning of this, of, of this scene that had fallen on its own. And so he's in shock. He's just wondering, what the hell's going on? And that caps episode three. On to episode four, however, we have the opening shot of already in the middle of a conversation between the man and the woman. I'll refer to him as the husband and wife. So the husband here is already trying to explain his side of the story on what happened last night. With the lights coming back on again in the, in the other room. With the chair falling on its own. The wife, of course, actually... Coming back from a 12-hour shift, once again, from work. And is very, very stressed out. And so the husband is not convinced that the wife is not understanding him on what had just happened. And doesn't feel like she's paying attention. But of course, the wife here is stressed the hell out. She's probably tired as hell. And, you know, the last thing she wants to hear is something that's very... I don't want to say believable. Like, there are some people that actually believe in... And spirits and ghosts and demonic possessions and stuff and um, but doesn't want to hear nothing of it you know she just wants to enjoy her breakfast and just chill but the husband is so determined and so wanting to convince this her his wife that something is definitely going on in the house and so the wife snaps the wife has had enough she just wants nothing to do with his current situation she just wants to relax she works all these type of hours and she's had enough. So she storms off and that's it for the, for the episode four. And then after ending episode four, I really had a tough time on figuring out what to put out for episode five. And it took a lot of brainstorming. It actually took a lot of people into filming this one. Uh, we needed a body double. We needed uh, someone to hold the camera and then myself and then the voice of the wife. And so then with this latest episode, we had the opening shot of 
the woman sitting in the car waiting for her husband to bring out takeout food since he wanted to get takeout food for dinner. And she gets these text messages from this guy named Leo. And Leo begins to start sending these text messages on actually wondering where she was because him and a bunch of other people are actually starting are waiting on her to start this session. And by session, you really don't understand what might this be. But it's a little bit after during this clip of this episode uh, is when you come to find out the wife is sending this message to Leo about probably that the husband is onto something here because there's been paranormal things that have been happening around the house. And she can only play it off that it's all in his head for so long until he ends up figuring out what is going on. So then Leo sends this text message back reassuring her not to not to worry about the husband and that to trust him, that everything's going to be okay. But as soon as she can reply back to that text message, we have the husband coming back into the car. He has, you know, dinner ready to go. He's super stoked to, you know, spend some quality time with his wife and uh, watch the latest episode of their favorite show. But the wife breaks his heart by saying that she has Bible study after this. So she can't stick around after dinner. And so the husband gets pretty mad and not wanting to blow things out of proportion, you know, not to really make this a big scene. But he he understands his wife, that she goes through a lot of stuff and. You know, she needs her me time sometimes where, you know, maybe talking to somebody else rather than her husband will help her at ease. So off they go. And uh, that's where we're at with this episode series. Like the way I have these shot or the way I actually wanted these to be shot is uh, still still shots. The episode, I believe episodes two, two and four, they're all still shots. So you're only you're getting something like with episode two, which is the most famous one right now. Again, sitting at 115,000 views, uh, it's still shot. So you have the scene of a a coffee maker just brewing coffee, while in the middle of this conversation we have the the husband and wife talking, and it blew up. Like I never really thought of of it to be something special, but you know other people saw it differently. Uh, if I go to the comments section, um, you'll see things like, oh, this was a really wonderful conversation. Uh, it seems like straight out of a movie. And I wish, and there's like these uh, these heartbreaking comments that are left on the video where this one person, she commented by saying that um, she wishes she can come out to her, her mom like this because she has all these uh depressed depression um moments or anxiety and you know she has no one to talk to and it's really heartbreaking because um not i didn't really put this out to have people or to motivate people at all which is kind of weird because i don't know not not to think that one person can make a difference on another person's life i never really took that to heart but this one actually really know like it's it's showing something that people are actually wanting to tune in uh, again, you have comments that are saying like, oh, I'm so hooked to this uh, series. Don't stop putting out uh, episodes. And that to me, like if, if, I, if I can actually get someone to tune in and grab their attention, like I'm really do, doing something right. And these comments in the comments section, they really do help out a lot. I mean, you have one person or two that'll just say that for sure these are, you know, it's fake and, you know, it's all scripted. Of course it is. Like, I believe with this app, like, yeah, sure, you can invest hours on end and, like, you know, time will fly by. But it's it's entertaining you. Like, it's keeping your attention away from things that are happening in this world. Like, take, for example, this whole COVID thing. Like, it's it sucks. Like, people are going to have their breaking points. I have myself the other day um, going to the store with my girlfriend and I had a panic attack. To the point where my be, me being claustrophobic with a bunch of people, I, I can't do it. Like I start sweating, I start deep breathing, and especially with these masks, they don't really <laughs> they don't really do help out a lot when you're having a panic attack. You're breathing heavily, you start sweating through it, and um, lo and behold, I ran out and you know sat in the car and started to cry. Like it was it was too crazy for me. And eventually, people will have their breaking points. And I think after that day, like I had a, an extra day of like just sitting in the room and um, lights off and, you know, windows closed, just in complete darkness. I did not, you know, I didn't feel like I was me. I, luckily, I bounced back and it's, it's, it's a tough time. It's a tough time at the moment. But being that these comments that keep flowing, these views keep, keep coming up and like these uh, the likes on the video and 
it, it truly just does show that um, I'm entertaining somebody. You know, I'm taking their time they're away from probably their current life events. Like, it might not even just be this whole COVID thing. It might be just like their parents fighting, uh, the dad's drunk, or uh, uh, the mom's abusive, or, you know, things are going not so great at work, You're un- people are unemployed. And, you know, if you can bring at least a minute of entertainment, then I've done my job. And it really got me thinking, like, you know what? I'm going to sit down, <laughs> underwear or not. Like, I'm, I'm going to be sitting here in this room. And it got me to this point, recording this session. And I really do apologize for being away for so long. But I believe the time is right to come back. Um, there is this thing called the seven-episode curse. When one person starting off a podcast, and if they don't make it by the seventh episode, then, you know, you're fucked. And I don't want to be just another statistic. Like, I want to break the seven-episode goal and hopefully put out some more content for you guys here because, yeah, there are some people that might be a person or two that are waiting for to tune in and I haven't put anything out. So I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Um, I really hope that next week, too, I'll have something up and that uh, it'll be something funny, something crazy. Because to me, uh, the, su- the success or the road to 100,000, I've done it. That's great. Might not be on followers, might not be on likes, but like at least for views. Like, uh, to me personally, that's my goal. Like As long as people are tuning in, and are being entertained, that's all that matters. Like, I'll be uploading or brainstorming episodes six and seven, and then uh, we'll hope to see where, where this goes from here because I'm really super excited. Like, I do have a great uh, moral support, great help in the filming these, and uh, to those, you guys know who you are. I really do appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'm really looking forward to putting more new episodes of the podcast series because the Monday Night Cool podcast show needs to be alive and well. And I need to focus because I'm getting called back to work. And where am I going to find the time? Who knows? But I need to figure that out because, you know, it's, it's something that's, uh, that should be a hobby. And especially that people, have, I think, have lost uh, their way of thinking of what is a hobby and what isn't. And so having this podcast episode, uh, I'm sorry, having this podcast series, having a TikTok account with um, drawing a, a good number amount of, amount of views is very helpful very motivating. So I will hope to see you guys next Monday night on the Monday Night Quote Podcast Show. I've been John Mendes. Be sure to check out Hey Yo John Mendes on Instagram and Hey Yo John Mendes 316 on TikTok. This has been John Mendes signing out. Adios!